in our last video we had uh, derived a very simple relation of pdv work which was work done uh, during a process 1 to 2 can be written as integration of p into dv okay so now in this video what we will do is we will use this relation to find out the pdv work in various quasi static processes such as the constant pressure constant volume isothermal and the polytropic process okay so one by one we will solve all these uh, cases to to start with constant pressure process now if i draw the constant pressure process in a pv diagram then uh, what will come out will be uh, is a uh, straight horizontal line why horizontal line it is because pressure is constant um, as the system changes from state 1 to 2 there will be no change in pressure but volume will be changing now if i use this logic in the main equation uh, i can write uh, the, the same formula now here uh, pressure can be taken out of the integ integration since it is constant it can be taken out of the integration so we will be left out with the integration of dv limit uh, v1 to v2 so it is very simple the final formula will be p into v2 minus v1 so this is the formula of work done during a constant pressure process okay in the next case for the constant volume process if i uh, apply the same logic this time the line will be uh, a vertical line because there is no change in volume that is dv is equal to zero however p p will be changing but uh, dv will be zero now since dv is zero so obviously uh, th uh, th there will not be any um, um, dv is constant that means the constant of integration is zero so uh, work done during a constant volume proce process is zero next is the isothermal process isothermal process we know p into v is equal to constant so we will uh, use this um this relation to find out uh, the derivation so p we can write pv is equal to p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 then uh, like this it will go on so from this i can take out p i can write the uh, relation of p p can be written as p1 v1 divided by v and now uh, we will go back to the main equation and we will apply uh, the, uh, this formula here so in place of p i can write p1 v1 divided by v p1 v1 divided by v into dv okay now p1 v1 can be taken out so we'll be left out with dv uh, 1 by v dv we'll be left out with 1 by v uh, dv so we know uh, from basic integration knowledge uh, integration of 1 by v dv can be written as uh, log v okay and since the limits are uh, v1 to v2 so i can write log uh, v2 by v1 so this is one relation work done during isothermal process now if in uh, some problem v1 and v2 are not given but instead p, p, p1 and p2 are given then i can use one more thing i can do one more thing see p1 v1 can be written as p2 v2 from the above relation from here i can uh, take out v2 by v1 i can uh, get a formula of v2 by v1 it will be p1 by p2 now in this equation just re uh, replace v2 by v1 by p1 by p2 so see how we have got two different equations so based on what value we have in the numerical we can use a, uh, either of these two okay so the next one is the uh, polytropic process so polytropic process means uh a relation where um, p into v, v, v to the power n is equal to constant so i can write it uh, write it down as i can expand this as p1 v1 to the power n is equal to p2 v2 to, to the power n uh, and like this we can go on so from this p can be taken out uh, and uh, p can be written as v1 p1 v1 to the power n divided by v to the power n okay now if i use this relation in the main equation again every time we will do the same thing i can uh, write work done can be written as integration of p dv so in place of p just replace what we have got just now p1 into v, v1 to the power n divided by v to the power n so again this uh, p1 and uh, p1 into v, uh, v1 to the power n can be taken out so we will be left out with uh, 1 by v to the power n dv 
now if i integrate it we know uh, i first i can write it uh, down as uh, v to the power minus n dv now it is very uh, it has got become simplified we know uh, from our basic knowledge of integration that integration of v, v to the power n minus n can be written as can be written as v to the power minus n plus 1 divided by a minus n plus 1 okay limits v1 and v2 will remain same next in the next step i can uh, use these limits p1 v1 to the power n divided by um, 1 minus n and now i will apply the limits so it will be v2 to the power minus n plus 1 or 1 minus n minus v1 to the power 1 minus n okay now we will simply multiply p1 v1 to the power n into uh, with these two terms so the outcome will be p1 v1 to the power n into v2 to the power 1 minus 1 minus p1 v1 to the power n into v1 to the power 1 minus 1 yes divided by 1 minus n it will remain as it is now this p1 v1 to the power n can be written as p2 v2 to the power n easily you can write so just replace the p1 v1 to the power n by p2 v2 to the power n and everything will remain as it is and write the equation as it is into v1 to the power 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 now it is uh, very um, it has become very simple p2 into uh, v2 to the power n plus 1 minus n minus p1 v1 to the power n plus 1 minus n divided by 1 minus n okay so last uh, we are left out with one or two two steps two more steps um, p2 the result will be p2 into uh, v2 minus p1 into v1 divided by 1 minus n so this was all about different pdv processes in the next video we will solve some numericals using these formulas thank you